Come with me as I get a look at the construction of the iconic and now reimagined Pier 66. For Lauderdale, it's still that same icon that it was in 1966, and it's going to be that same attraction. Same Fort Lauderdale charm with some exciting additions. We put on some boots and hard hats as Chris Gandolfo with Tavistock Development gives us a look around. With decades-long fame as a gathering spot for special occasions, vacation, and dining, the Pier 66, you know, is no longer just a getaway. You can live here and have your boat in your backyard. Pier 66 never had residential before, so now you have this concept of really work, play, live, experience, you know, a, a complete resort lifestyle. Two and a half acres of swimming pools. So you got to use your imagination now. Fall of next year, this is where the swimming pools are going to be here at this reimagined Pier 66. We have approximately 700 men working on the job right now, doing approximately 25 to 30 million dollars of work every month. Looking over my right shoulder, we have two resort residence buildings. One with 15 units and the other one with 16 units. Further to my left is condo building number one with 31 units uh, overlooking the intercoastal. We got a look at the expansion to the hotel with standard rooms in addition to the suites. To see how the residential units interact with the marina, how the marina interacts with the hotel, how the commercial space and the public area promenade all work together all around these 32 acres. Now, so far, if all goes according to plan, Pier 66 is slated to reopen in the fall of 2024. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, Syra Onwer, Local 10 News.